Okay, so once we actually merge, we can actually see two different kinds of mergers form. So, types of mergers. This is B under A was the uh, why do you merge? B is types of mergers. So the first type of merger is what we call a horizontal merger. A horizontal merger is when companies combine that make the same or similar products. So with a horizontal merger, you are going to have um, companies that combine as their reasoning for mining may uh, be including to get bigger, to eliminate those rivals, uh, to potentially get rid of that bad reputation. Okay? That would be, for example, a horizontal merger. In our lemonade business, um, who would have to merge together to be a uh, horizontal merger? We had lemon companies, sugar companies, and lemonade companies. Who would have to merge together to be a horizontal merger? Two lemon companies, or two sugar companies, or two lemonade companies. Okay. Um, you can think of uh, the uh, process, the business process, is kind of like a ladder. Okay. So the ladder uh, is going to be the steps. Each step is going to be a different part of the production process. So for our lemonade company, we had one rung would be lemons, another rung would be sugar, okay? Another rung would be lemonade, okay? So if we are on the same rung, basically, and two lemonade companies or two sugar companies or two lemon companies merge together, that would be a horizontal merger, okay? <coughs> Real life examples of horizontal mergers. I love this picture. This is Time Warner and Comcast. Okay, um, they purposely made them uh, look, look like they're getting married because mergers is kind of like a marriage union, you're merging together, right? Um, and uh, why do you make, do you suppose that they made these individuals rather robust in size? Because they're giant companies. They're giant companies, okay? Comcast and Time Warner are both cable companies. And if they both merge together, they both provide the same product, this would be a horizontal merger, okay? So that would be a, a similar um, example of a horizontal merger. Uh, that one, obviously, the, the guy in the middle is the consumer. And the consumer um, is uh, saying that uh, he always cries at weddings because, obviously, he's very concerned that that will affect prices. Um, other example, Exxon and Mobil. Uh, Exxon and Mobil were two individual companies. What do they produce? No idea? Gas. gas. They both uh, produce gas. So ExxonMobil is now ExxonMobil. They merge together. They are both gas companies, so therefore this is a horizontal merger. Okay? Another type of merger. What do you suppose is the opposite of a horizontal merger? Vertical. Okay. So a vertical merger is when companies combine that are involved in different steps of producing or marketing a product. So, going back to my example of the ladder here, each rung is uh, a different step in production. So, in our lemonade company, what would be an example of a vertical merger? Sugar and lemons. Sugar and lemons merging. That would be a vertical merger. What else? What about sugar and lemonade? Or lemons and lemonade? And I, again, I suggested that you could do that. What's the point of a vertical merger? Why would you do that? Why would you have a lemonade company merge with a lemon company? Uh, so that they can provide their own lemonade. They can, their, their own lemons. They can provide their own lemons. It's efficient, right? You don't have to go to the lemon company and I don't have to negotiate with them on uh, lemon prices. So, uh, some real life examples of this. Uh, this one, uh, if for example, a car manufacturer, okay, um, if they had uh, a car manufacturer that uh, merged a rubber plantation with the car manufacturer and then the uh, ultimate with the dealership, this is the rungs of the ladder. So you have uh, the rubber factory that's going to make the tires and everything else that's in the car is rubber, so which go merge with the car manufacturer, which is going to merge with the actual dealership that shell, sells you the car. Okay? 
that would be an example of a vertical merger. Other example, uh, this one. Um, ever hear of uh, Ticketmaster? Yes. Yes? Have you ever heard of Live Nation? Yes. Okay. Do you know that those two is, are merging? Yes. Okay. So, why is this a vertical merger? Because they both sell, like, they both like ticket companies that sell tickets. Okay, but if they're both ticket companies that sell tickets, then what type of uh, merger would it be? Horizontal. 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 So, what do they have that's different? They have to have some um, sort of steps of production. What's the difference about those two? <laughs> no. Still be horizontal mergers. What are the two? Uh, maybe Live one Nation tickets. and a Ticketmaster. Maybe one of them like does something uh, uh, like it has a secondary function mm -hmm. besides just the tickets. Yes. Live Nation and Ticketmaster both sell tickets, yes. But did you know that Live Nation also owns some of the concert venues across the country? Oh yeah. Did you know they're also concert promoters? Okay. That makes it a vertical merger because uh, the Ticketmaster is the one that sells the tickets. Uh, they do some managing of artists, uh, but the Live Nation is going to be the one that actually also provides the concert manager. They also provide the venue. That's the steps of production. In order to go from a individual artist, right, that is going to go and go to a venue and offer their entertainment services, who is going to offer tickets to them, right? So the point is, is that these two, Ticketmaster and Live Nation, um, are going to be the steps of production. You see that? Yes. Make sense? Okay. So another example of a vertical merger. Now, when you actually have these mergers happening, and when you have um, all, either or both, or a bunch of mergers that happen, you could have one of two things happen. You can have two kinds of companies that are formed. Okay. First type of company is a conglomerate. A conglomerate is a business made up of several companies, each producing unrelated products. I don't think it was in here that somebody brought this up in a different class. Uh, but conglomerates are everywhere. And conglomerates, you'd be amazed the kinds of conglomerates that are out there. Totally unrelated products. Used to be um, there was a company um, called um, Altria that owned Philip Morris. Anybody know what Philip Morris is? What they make? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Philip Morris used to do make cigarettes. Uh, Philip Morris used to make cigarettes. Altria you owned Philip Morris and Kraft Foods. Not obviously in the same building, but uh, Altria owned a company that made cigarettes and cheese. Totally unrelated. Okay. Why do they do that? Why is that good to have more variety as a business? Yeah. yeah, so if there is going to be, if you have variety, so if one um, is, for example, Philip Morris cigarettes, okay, uh, kind of a dicey time period to have be in the business of cigarettes, okay? But, you know, cheese, cheese is always good, right? Everybody buys cheese. Okay? So they kind of are hoping they balance out. It's that whole idea of don't put all your eggs in one basket. You're spreading out a lot of different industries. Okay? So, some examples of conglomerates that you may or may not have heard of. Nestle. You've heard of Nestle, right? Okay. Did you know that Nestle produces not only you know, the stuff that you heard of with the drinks, right? But did you know that Nestle also owns Gerber? Gerber Foods? Okay. Did you know that Nestle also owns um, Ralph Lauren and L'Oreal? No. All under the same parent company, Purina Dog Food. Who knew, right? Conglomerate. Huge company owns lots of little subsidiary companies that make a lot of weird stuff. They're totally unrelated. Okay. But again, why did they do that? They're trying to spread themselves out so then they can go and uh, make a profit somewhere, right? Okay, other example. Uh, other example, GE. What do you know GE makes? Uh, they make appliances. Appliances. Did you know also that GE also is involved with NBC and all of these channels? Hulu. Did you know that? Okay, another example of a conglomerate. Okay, wide variety of 
of different products. All right, another company that could be formed is a multinational company. And multinational companies are businesses that with manufacturing or sales in multiple countries. And most um, large corporations are going to be multinationals today um, because they do have some sort of manufacturing or they sell in other countries. Okay? Again, they're trying to diversify their base. Okay? Um, and sometimes it's cheaper to be able to produce in another country. So these are some, uh, some of the examples. Uh, Pepsi, Coke, Nokia, HP, BMW, Marlboro, Gillette, GE, McDonald's, Microsoft, Samsung, Disney, Google, yeah. Motorola, all of them are multinationals. All right, that was where I was going to end anyways. See you tomorrow. Woo. I don't cut it. I don't.